everyone and welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be um, reviewing um, a brand new album. Um, it is by Liam Gallagher. It's his first solo record called As You Were. So this review was requested by a user called Matthew Medley. So yes, thank you for requesting this review. So like, yeah, like I just thought like, I don't review like enough like so like brand new music like on like my channel. So yeah, I just thought that I would like give this album um, like a quick review. And um, so yeah, like, as I said, like his first solo record released on the 6th of October this year. So a bit of background information like about the record and um, basically like um oasis like of course the band what like liam like was in like it goes without saying um like split like in like 2009 and um, like after that like he formed a group called bdi and um, like what was pretty much like the members like off like oasis like without like noel gallagher but like they were not hugely like successful or like popular like with fans Initially, like, he resisted, like, pursuing, like, a solo career, like, he didn't want to be, like, a solo artist, like, whoever, like, in, like, March of this year, um, like, the album, like, itself, like, was, like, announced, like, an, an, announced, like, and, like, he plays, like, his first couple of solo gigs a few months later. It was recorded with the help of various producers, including, um, Greg, um, Greg Crusted, I think that's how like, you say like his name, like who has like notably like been working like with Paul McCartney lately, and um, another producer and um, Andrew Wyatt and a guy called Dan Grench were also involved like with this album like also um like writing like co-writing many of the album songs and like also like producing the album. So the critical reception to the album has been um, mostly good, like it has got like um, pretty good like solid reviews like all round and like also um, like in like it's first week of sales like it's topped like UK charts like apparently like it um, like outsold like um, outsold like the rest like off like the top 20 combined so yeah like a pretty successful like quite like highly hyped album here. So I'm now just going to show you my vinyl copy. This is just the bog standard um, like vinyl, like what like you can buy. There's also a box set of it put out, like a deluxe box set, and like I believe like a white vinyl version as well. So this is the cover here. I'm not a big fan like of the cover. I mean like I get like it's basic and that like it's just it's just him on it basically. Um, but like yeah like I'm not like the biggest fan of it. Track listing like on the back there. Inside you get the inner sleeve with a live um, shot on like one side, lyrics on the other and the record itself looks like this. Also good thing with this is that like, you get a download code as um, um, like as well what also like allows you to download I think three bonus tracks which is on like the deluxe edition which is like a really nice touch I think. Um, so yeah that is the vinyl record looked at. Okay so I'm now going to go over each of the album songs I will score each track out of 10 and then those scores will be used to give us a overall percentage marking for the album. So we open up with the um, song Wall of Glass, which was the first like single from the album. And like I must say like when it and like I must say like when like it like was like first released, like I really um quite liked this song like quite a bit. Like I mean it wasn't like it didn't like blow me away like or anything, like it wasn't one what like I played like constantly, but like I did like really like enjoy it. Like I thought that it was a really like worthy like first um like debut solo single like from like Liam and um, like it's got a very sort of sharp like punchy sound to it like with like this swelling like harmonica like and like distorted like guitars in it like I think it sounds like really good the actual song itself though I just think it is a little bit it sounds a little bit like unfinished to me like especially like the chorus line like where like it builds up like the I don't need to be unkind like but I see what song you mind like that bit like it seems like it's gonna build up to some sort of like epic chorus but it just doesn't like it kind of just like after that like it kind of just sort of like falls flat again and um, so yeah like it's sort of like it builds up to nothing sort of thing however it was still a um, pretty successful single and um, reached number 21 on the UK singles charts which for like an artist like Liam Gallagher like that is like a pretty good like placing for it like I would have to say yes I know Next track is called Bold, which is one which I believe Gallagher has had like sitting around for like a good like couple of years, and um, like because I believe like he like performed it solo, and um, like back in like 2015 or something like that. And um, 
um, like I mean, it starts off like quite slow, slightly, quite sort of dull, like acoustic guitar, like a bit. Like, however, the track does build up really well. The production, like itself, like is like really, really nice. Like very like Beatlesy, like very sort of, like John Lennon like vibe to this track, I think. Um, but and that's like no bad thing. I mean, like balls are really um, good track there, an eight out of ten. And then we get um, another um, real rocking song called Greedy Soul, which I really, really love this track, giving it a 9 out of 10. Like, it's got a great sort of swagger, like, and, like attitudes, like, right from, like, the set-off. Like, it's nicely produced as well. Like, we've got, like, a, like, acoustic guitar, like, in it, but it still sounds quite heavy, still sounds quite tough, which is a really sort of, like, um, difficult thing to do, like, using, like, a, like, acoustic, like, instrument. Like, I mean, like, it is a great song, like, really sort of, like, catchy track there, like, I think. So, yeah, Greedy Soul, um, yeah, a pretty good song there. And then the album really changes pace, which with which could be my favourite song like on the record. It's called Paper Crown, which is a lovely, lovely ballad, like a lovely slower track. Liam's vocals on this just sound like excellent. It reminds me quite a bit off like a lot of the new things like on like the charlatans and um, like new record like well say new record different days what came out earlier this year like the closing track spinning out like it's got a similar kind of vibe to it i think and um, like unfortunately though this track and um, like liam like had like no involvement with writing which is maybe one of the reasons why like um like um like why like compositionally it is like such like a good song and like it's definitely like one of like the strongest like melodies like on the record paper crown a fantastic track there Second is the third and I think um, current single from the album For What It's Worth, which is another sort of ballad like song which I do quite enjoy. It's very sort of like John Lennon esque and um, like very similar moods, like I think, like to Jealous Guy and um, like similar sort of like themes, like lyrically, like and like that. Like, I mean, like, it's very sort of like that, like sort of like, um, like reconciliation and. Um, like apparently like I've heard like it's like a message like to like brother Noel um, so yeah like, for what it's worth I mean like a lovely um, track like great like arrangement to it and um, just a little bit um, safe though like it's very like Oasis like very sort of like Beatles like very much like Liam Gallagher like in like his comfort zone um, this track like I think but that is still like a great thing though um, so yeah like an 8 out of 10 um, for what it's worth She's working me And then side one closes with another great song actually and um, it's called when i'm in need which is a um, lovely lovely ballad like again like the ballads like on this app uh, and um, like on this album probably like stand out more than like some of like the more like mid-tempo rockers i mean like it begins like with like a lovely like soft like acoustic guitar like pay and um, like played by gallagher like himself um, and like it's got a great like string arrangement to it the melody like is like excellent and um, and like i love the way like this song builds like it doesn't just stay like in like the one like sort of like mood to it like it builds up like the string arrangement becomes louder like it becomes like a lot more like anthemic like towards the end so yeah like when i'm in need another great track there like an eight out of ten you better run, you better Overall, like as you can tell, the first side is actually really, really damn good. It is though when we turn over to the second side, which is where the record kind of goes um, downhill a little bit. And um, we we'll start off with a song called "You Better Run," which is a more like up tempo track, like with like not a lot much going for it. Like it's got like a driving like guitar riff to it, like but it is like a tad like overproduced, like a lot of like big horns like on like this track. It does have like a really nice bridge to it which does like lift the track somewhat like however it is still a little bit dull like a little bit and um, like just saw like filler material. The next one is um, kind of similar like it's a song called I Get By which is another rocker which was solely written like by like Gallagher and like I mean like you can kind of tell because it isn't like as like um like as like advanced like compositionally as like stuff like say like for what it's worth or like um like all like paper crown like it's a lot more sort of clunky like the chorus like it really like lacks like melody 
and like lyrically like he basically just sings like the chorus to this is like literally just like i am um, it's just like well i get by um like um because only love can break thy heart because only love can tear us all apart which is basically like just like a lift like of like joy division to be fair um so yeah like quite a forgettable track there and um, like i get by would get a five out of ten Then we get um, a track called Chinatown, which was the second single from the album. And I must say that when I first heard this back in, it probably would have been um, like June or July. I was quite disappointed with this song. Like it was one like which like I played once, and like really like didn't feel like the urge like to hear like again sort of thing. Like lyrically, like it's very bland. Like I mean, like the first line is like called um, um, the first line says. Um, the cops are taking over while everyone's in yoga because happiness is still a warm god so just sort of like nonsense lyrics really and like gallagher like didn't even write them like himself like i mean like it could be like forgiven like if like these were like his own lyrics like whoever like they're not like professional songwriters like wrote this like for gallagher and um, so yeah like it's a very boring song as well like i might say like when i'm in need which grows like and develops this one just stays the same throughout and like it's really like boring like doesn't go like anywhere this track so yeah chinatown quite a disappointing second single like for the album a five out of ten get um, a song called Come Back To Me which is probably the best one like on side two. It is very similar though to Wall of Glass like in terms of sound like and like instruments used like this was also produced like by like Greg and um, Krusty so like it does like share like a lot of like similarities like with like Wall of Glass. Like, I do like this one though like the chorus is really like melodic and like really like epic sounding however compared to side one like material like on side one it just like isn't like as good like it isn't like as and um, like it isn't like as like distinctive personally and um, but still though like not a bad track there and um, come back to me we get a seven out of ten Now the penultimate song is called Universal Glee, which is we're back to the sort of boring, like middle of the road stuff here. Like apparently, um, like Universal Glee, like is like the name what like Liam wanted to call like BDI's like final record, um, which is just like a little like random fact there. Um, like the actual song itself, like yeah, just like boring sort of like and um, like um, like ballad track, like very very like forgettable song. Um, so yeah, five out of ten for Universal Glee. But well, thankfully though we do close with a solid song called I've All I Need which is a yeah like a really like lovely song like musically like the guitar and um, like um, like riff like throughout the song like it's really catchy like really like effective chorus as well maybe he goes a little bit like heavy handed like with like the Beatles references like on like this track like mentioning like all things must pass like and like tomorrow never knows like what's he saying here like tomorrow never knows the winds of change must blow and that um, so yeah like it they do sound a little bit forced to me and um, but like of course I mean like Liam like a massive like Beatles fan like he is like going like to mention them like in like his like songs and that and um, but like, yeah like a good closer I think like of all I need and um, so yeah like that closes the album and um, pretty well I think Okay, so overall this album scores 71 percent which is a um, good score like it isn't a great album this but it is a good um record like i think especially especially the first side which i think like if like he'd like been able like to sustain that quality like onto the second side the second side he would have had a uh, um, really great record which would have probably rivaled like the first like Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds album however like as it is it is a very safe like and like predictable album like he's not really pushing himself musically but like I can understand why like it is like being like such a like success this album like both like with like fans like and also like critics like as well because it is so so like normal like so like um like so like oasis like like where there's like no gallagher solo stuff like it's like a little bit more different like this one like is very much like kind of like a throwback and um, th throwback like to like the 90s sound now i did mention earlier 
um, like the download code you, code you get with this like entitles um, like you to download a couple of bonus tracks now one of those I think would be album worthy called doesn't have to be like that which I think like is like pretty good song there the, the other two which are called um, all my people all mankind and never want to be like you I, I could leave like, I don't really like need to hear like those songs like again personally but I think what this record does confirm, like, is, like, Gallagher, like, he needs, like, a, like, really good, like, collaborators to get, like, the best, like, out of him. Like, to get the best, like, A, like, out of, like, his, um, like, out of, like, his, his own, like, songwriting and, like, also, um, like, musically, like, as well, like, to create, like, kinds of, like, memorable, um, like, songs, like, and, like, arrangements, because, like, his solo compositions, like, on here, like, you better run, I, I, you better run, and I get by, like, really just, like, fall flat for me. But still, um, not a bad record here, like, would I recommend it to people that wanted to get into Oasis? Probably not, like, I would say, like, still go for, like, the Oasis material, but, like, if, like, you are, like, a fan, like, and, like, you want to, um, like, see that, what, like, Liam's, like, up to now, um, like, yeah, like, this is, um, like, yeah, like, this is, like, a good place to start, like, it's, like, really, really like really like it's like the only place to start like to be fair and um, but like yeah like I me mean, like he does like a good job like on like the first size like of this album like anyway and um, so yeah like i've blabbled on too much today like anyway so i just want to um like conclude like this video so yes thanks for watching and i will see you all next time for the next video like whenever like i film like the next one so yeah and um, see you and bye bye